name is your girl Gladys and welcome to Is That Your Hair. I create hair, fashion, and lifestyle content that will encourage you to be your very best self. So if you're with that, you're in the right place. Today is $20 Tuesday and I'm super excited because I have a unit by Outre that just came out not too long ago. It is a U-part wig and this is the first time I'm seeing a synthetic human hair blend U-part wig. Has not been done before according to my knowledge. So I was so stoked to try this out. Now I don't normally do leave out y'all if i want my hair to be straight i'm tossing on a wig that's it that's all you're not gonna catch me straightening my natural hair like that because because overall i'm just scared to mess up my natural hair texture but i noticed the girls have been feeling more styles with leave out and even when i put out my top 10 half wigs video you guys did request that i do more styles with my hair out so here we are in this video we are going to specifically focus on how i like to blend my leave out and i must say i think i did a pretty damn good job y'all let me know in the comments if you agree i didn't straighten my hair bone straights because i'm just not comfortable with that i had the heat up pretty high it was like at least 380 degrees which is it was pushing past my comfort zone, but I wanted this to blend as seamlessly as I felt comfortable with. Now, before we go into the tutorial, I have to show you guys my favorite tool for blow drying my hair. This tool right here, the Revlon blow dryer brush, y'all may as well add it to the cart if you don't have it already. This thing has been holding me down for at least two years now, and it just cuts my drying time in half. It makes blow drying my type four hair so much easier. So I'm telling you, especially if you catch this on sale, what? Grab this brush, y'all. It's an absolute must-have when it comes to my blow-drying process. So if you're ready to see how I blended this 22-inch synthetic human hair blend into my natural hair, keep watching. So after I wash my hair with shampoo and conditioner and I'm ready to blow it out, the first thing I like to use is my shea butter combined with an oil, and I like to work it through the hair. I like using shea butter because it's a natural heat protectant, and I just noticed that when I use it with my blowouts, my hair feels noticeably softer than when I don't use it. So just a little tip in case you have blowouts that feel extra dry at home, try adding in a little bit of shea butter and see if it makes a difference. I will say that air on the side of caution with the quantity because if you use too much shea butter your blowout will feel extra heavy that may or may not matter to you depending on what you're doing with your natural hair next but I just wanted to put that out there the next thing I like to do is go in with the heat protectant I have this one by Chi which I think is great and all the products that I mentioned will be linked in my description box so definitely check it out add to cart because trust me these products have worked for me I just spray a little bit along here and then just work it through you know nothing crazy and then it's time to flat iron currently i have a flat iron by fhi heat again i don't like flat iron my natural hair this isn't a tool that i've used a lot but it works well when i do so here i'm just gonna take one section and clamp down press it out you see that and then we're pretty much good to go. Could I do another pass? I could, but I try not to because again, I just get so nervous when it comes to straightening my hair. I don't want to ruin my natural texture, but that is why we use things like heat protectant. That's why we make sure we properly shampoo and condition and moisturize so that we can avoid damage from happening. Now, some people like to use the method, the comb chase method, where they're combing through while they're flat ironing. If I was like doing like a whole head of hair, like a wig or something, I probably would do that, but I'm just trying to quickly do this. So here we go, straighten it out. And I'm the temperature it's on is like 380. And even this right here is a lot for me. <laughs> but it's fine my ends aren't completely straight but it'll do and then you literally just brush the leave out into the wig this is what the blending is looking like now i have typically number two here but right now it's actually blending pretty nicely into the jet black color which surprised me and I'm I am in front of a window right now too so yeah I think it's blending really nicely y'all 
Also, be mindful back here. Don't forget about back here. I need to move some of these hairs back there or I can actually um, pull hair from underneath and bring it back up so that way that track isn't showing. All right, y'all, this is, um, this is looking pretty damn good if I do say so myself. You see how easy that was? I swear these U parts make life really simple for my girls who want a very seamless look. Like you got a sewing in without doing the work of an entire sewing. Because underneath my hair is literally just pushed back into a ponytail. I braided it and tucked it underneath and then that's it. Now here's an additional step you can do, not totally necessary, but I do think it kind of adds a little finish to the look. You can use a spray wax. Shout out to my boo Wheezy Wig Reviews because she's the one that put me onto this product. This is the Got To Be Glue Spray Wax. It has a two-in-one nozzle. So nozzle one is for a flexible texture, nozzle two is for a structured hold. I've never seen a spray can with two nozzles that can twist like this. I think that's really nifty. I'm gonna do nozzle one here. And literally, this works just like a wax stick. You know how you'll see some of us applying our wigs and then afterwards we will use a wax stick to lay down all of the flyaway hairs. This is the same exact product, but as a spray, which I think is so cool. So I have it here, I'm turning it to side one. I'm just gonna spray a little bit on each side, not a whole lot. And then I'm just going in with my comb to flatten it out. I'm also going to um, just snip some of this hair on the side here because my leave out stopped short like over here and I just kind of want it to be a more tra seamless transition between my leave out and the wig itself. Not a super big deal but probably only noticeable to me. Now, if you are worried about the wind blowing and people seeing your edges, you can also straighten out a few pieces of your hair along the edge here. And you see how that's blending there? You see how that's blending there? Hey y'all, so I just wanted to show y'all that I did a little style where I just put some of the hair back into a little pony. The rest of the hair is falling to the front and I have these bangs in the front. I think this looks so freaking cute. Oh my gosh, whenever I wear this wig, I definitely am going to wear it like this. How you all feel about this style? I would definitely leave out a little bit of my hair here when I do wear this, but overall, this looks really nice. It looks natural. I like it. And if you're interested in my dress, this is from Amazon. I'm wearing a size large. I will link everything in the description box. All right, y'all, this is the final look. Let me know what you think in the comments. Overall, this is a beautiful, gorgeous unit. The fact that Outre has made a U part that is a combination of synthetic and human hair fibers for such an affordable price, I mean, I commend them for that. What I really want from Outre now is more of a blown out texture. Like I know this is called Dominican Blown Out 22, but that's because this is what Dominicans do. They take your natural hair and they press it out. <laughs> but now I want something that's a little bit more textured, blown out, a little bit coarser for me to blend my natural hair. I would love to see that Outre. I do have another one of these U-part wigs, um, one of the kinky coily ones, and that'll be coming up for another $20 Tuesday this month. So if you're with that, make sure you drop me some comments down below. And be sure to check my description box for all the products that I use. Overall, you definitely need a solid flat iron, a rat tail comb, a detangling comb, a good moisturizer, and a very good heat protectant in order to blend your leave out seamlessly. Now, if you're new to this channel, what are you waiting for? Tap the subscribe button, 
hit the notification bell so that you don't miss any of my upcoming videos y'all i'm so excited for 2022 i have lots of great content coming for you i'm also taking a few more risks this year with my content and when i do you'll see what i'm talking about but i'm really excited for that make sure you check me out on instagram is that your hair with three r's i'm also on pinterest i'm on tiktok with the same name i haven't been as active but i'm going to get back active on those platforms so feel free to follow me there and if you want to see some of my latest videos check them out over here to the right of me thanks for joining me for 20 dollars tuesday and i will see y'all on the next video bye